Liam, well, yeah, it's finished 1-1 and I think that's a bit of a tale of the season, is our 11th, 11th home draw of the season, I believe it or not. It's uh, some near misses, aren't we, during that time, but uh, it's finished 1-1 today. Yeah, it just ran out of goals, but listen, it's all about a good sign, we've missed chances to help with the Mr. Shedful. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, they must have missed 4 one on ones So, as I said, <laughs> we've got away. If we'd, have, if we'd have nicked it at the end, it, it wouldn't have been a fair result anyway. Mm. Uh, I thought we started off nice and bright, I thought we were okay, we looked totally in control and then, you know, it's the case of giving Cam the player of the year <laughs> and he makes a mistake for their goal, you know, that shouldn't go in and then, apart from that, I know they had a chance that none of it the target, mm. you know, the, everything's just gone wide, so uh, the game is flat, the players look tired. I, they did look tired today, didn't they, after I, the exertions of Saturday? I think it looks like the season's just gone on too far and... You know, George was injured, so he was obviously kept back from Saturday, come on for 10 minutes and got a knock. Mm. Uh, and then, listen, a lot of them have, have fell away, have fell away at the back end of the season, just had 20 minutes in there with the players, mm. and just said, listen, you know, thought it was poor, really poor today, in the second half. Uh, and, and just because there's just, just no energy, no urgency. Uh, and, and the only thing I put that down, I just think they're gone. Yeah. I think the sharp, but I don't think we're the only team like this. By the way, I think lots of teams are like this. You know, no one's been running away. They've been falling over the lines, getting drilled, mm. lots of loads, loads of draws here and, there and everywhere. But I said, um, you know, totally know what we need to do going forward. Uh, and you can see the difference from Michael Carvey's come in and has played with a bundle of energy. Yeah. Which, which I think that shows the difference, doesn't it? He has still got that energy, where all that mm. we do seem to have dropped a bit. Yeah, normally. we have. They are tired, yeah. uh, but that's just an excuse, you know. That's it. But I said I've been here before, I've seen it, I've seen it before. And the good thing is, I think they're a good, good gang of lads. So uh, they they need to improve. They need to improve. They need they need to have a good rest, and then they need to come back and wear pre-season. The good thing for pre-season, Terry will have more input in in terms of actually, right. you know. As much as you say coaching input, it, it's hard when you're playing Saturday, Tuesday. Yeah. You're training for an hour and a bit on a Thursday. I said so. It doesn't really actually give you any time actually on the training ground. But I'd like to think we'll get a bit more. We, we, we know how we want to play. Um, but obviously, we, we've got to make sure that you know we, we bring someone else in who can put the ball in that. I think that's the big thing, isn't it? We're all looking to see get that strike. I'm sure knowing you, Liam, you've got something lined up. Listen, it, uh, lots of people have been watching games, watching games, and as I said. The, I think all levels are screaming out for goal scorers. Mm. All levels, and if you look even like the, the the levels below, and you think, well, hang on, normally you'd have someone thirty or thirty, whatever. Yeah. They're not there. So, but as you said, we have to find something. Yeah, you mentioned Cam there. He, he, I think it deservedly a one player of the year, isn't it? The Sporters Player of the Year today. A few words about Cam. I said, I think from day one, he's always straight away the South poor people have touched him. Mm. It's very much like a Steve Dickinson type goalkeeper. Um, and uh, you know, I can, I can tell him and his family like love the club. Yeah. They love being here. Uh, he's a good kid. Never let you down. He's just solid. Um, and he's gone on to prove himself. And I'm sure he'll go on to prove himself year after year after year. At tell Paul what a good keeper he is. Yeah, I think that's the one thing we found this year. The, the the families have got involved, haven't they? And they're all saying how much the lads are enjoying playing for Southport, and that must be good for you as well, Liam. Listen, man, you don't need me to. It's a special football club, and mm. you know, people who, who are here and you spend time here, they get to grow. Okay. Yeah. As you said, it's even better because they are young. So the the mums and dads, etc., they're still coming to the game and 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 they're getting involved. So, you know, that that goes a long way to actually not just the place, the supporters, and all that. It also goes a lot long way to the board as well because mm. you know. It's become a very welcoming place now, hasn't it? The football yeah, club. Definitely. You know, people come in and they, they go into the lounges every week. Hospi hospitality lounges rammed, so we, yeah, it it is a much more friendly place to be. Yeah. Well, it's 21 games and two home defeats, but we feel a bit disappointed, don't we, with the end of the season? It's a shame, really, because you know, a funny season because we started badly, had a fantastic run, and we've ended badly. Yeah. But uh, it's a weird old season. Goal scorers. Yeah. It's what they All do. About, isn't it? You know, at tight games. When you're having, when you go on and win stuff, you've always got that one person. Who, he'll do nothing all day, and then he, yeah. he'll, he'll knock it in. We've been blessed over the years having really, really good goal scorers. Mm. But you know, if you look at Teddy Ferns, probably won as a league on his own in, yeah. in terms of being a goal scorer. And then yeah. you know, Kieran, Dales, Robbo. There, there's been lots of good goal scorers. But you know, as I said, don't don't undermine Jordan scored 20 goals this season. 
and I think he would have scored a lot more if, if he'd stayed alongside Marcus. Yes. But that hasn't been the case. Yeah. Um, and, that, and, that, and that decision, which listen, we were all totally supportive of the decision because Marcus deserves to go into the football league. I don't think he had a choice, did we? No, 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 I never had a choice because you couldn't do that to someone. I said, but he probably had. You know, an effect, but you, you just thought Connor would have stepped up, you'd have thought George, but unfortunately, injuries and, and stuff like that have actually dictated that hasn't been the case. Yeah. Um, it was a turning point, Marcus going, wanted to be honest, when we look back now, but like you say, you thought the others would step up to it. Yeah, as I said, you fully expect younger players to get to, to move on if they're good enough. So yeah. you just didn't expect the, you know, we've only started the season with a couple of senior players and, and you know, probably three, if you say Russ, Chris, and Marcus, and then, you know, Chris got injured. Mark has got got sold, and yeah. and Russ has been injured since the second game of the season. So that's probably where the season's sort of like evaporated. Yeah. 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 Well, on a personal level, it's your six hundredth game today for Southport, and I think we calculated we're well over a thousand in charge as manager. So, do you remember your first one? I do. Bamba Bridge at home on a Tuesday night against Furunko. Was it? Mm. All those years ago. Do you remember your first Southport game? Yes. Ralph Borough here, Peter yeah. Thompson scored too. Yeah, been a long time, hasn't it, going? Yeah, be a, <laughs> you've had your ups and downs along the way, but uh, you're sticking Matt, it's down. It's football management, there. isn't it? You have your ups and downs. People are quick enough to pat you on the back. People want to criticise you yeah. and stuff like that. I said, but you know, I think what well, all the time I've been at Southport, so well, bought an excessive, getting close to a million pounds in transfer sales. Yeah. Ten, three league, well, three promotions, two league championships. Seven trophies on top of that. Not a bad record, is it, Liam? Not a bad record, is it? No. Said, you know, and as I said, the one thing I've always done, I made the direct decision for the football club. Not yeah. always me. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to moving players or selling players, you, you've got to put the club first, and, and you know that that's always been an element of frustration. Yeah. Uh, and probably we had spells where we could have actually really kicked the club on in years gone by, but that never happened. And you know, the, the club now is, is on a proper good even keel. Uh, we need people behind us, we need the support, which we're getting all the time. We need the sponsors to keep on helping as much as we can. And you know, we, and we need the players to grow. You know, as I said, 22 average age, probably too young. But maybe 23, 24, it's probably about right. Uh, but again, we need a goal scorer. Yeah, the, the club could have gone under, couldn't they? I think people forget sometimes, you know, we, we've got to do this, haven't we? We've got to wheel and deal in the, in the market to keep the club going. Well, it's, it's not, the, as you said, the pandemic and... and yeah, you know, I said I think my first year back this this spell it yeah. w w w was horrendous in terms of what we had to go through, and then obviously two years of a pandemic. So this is probably the first year that you've actually com yeah. completed with, with what you consider is it is going to be Southport's team going forward. Yeah. Um, and 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 don't get me wrong, a lot of these players have never ever played as many games as they have done. So you know there is an an element. You know, like I said, Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle, he's never played this many without that, and he's hit the brick wall. Yeah. But he's always been a steady Eddie, so we can't have a go with him because he's he's shattered. <laughs> it's just nature. I, I think he could probably, you know, he could say an answer. Just be honest with me a little bit. And mm -hmm. you know, full back areas, you know, we, we haven't had any competition. It's Charlie been on the right and Jack's been on the left, and that's it. And now Michael's coming with a bit of competition, yeah. and then Charlie needs a bit of competition, and and that'll improve us as well. Yeah. Well, well done on the 600 and hope we'll have another celebration when you get to the 700. Alright, thanks Rob. Cheers, Cheers Liam, well done, thank you.